Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today, I am going to be planning my social media for August. And I'm using the Happy Planner wall calendar, which I've been using for a while. I also have a social media planner, but this is like easy access so I can see it whenever I want. It just hangs on my wall. I color code it and I will show you what I did last month soon, but I'm also going to decorate it and plan out my videos for this month. So if you're interested in seeing that, stick around. All right, so here we are, August 2020, getting close to the end of the year, which is good, right? <laughs> it's not really close to the end of the year, it's halfway through. But I am getting ready to plan my social media content for August, and actually that really just means my YouTube videos because my Instagram kind of, um, I plan that in like my social media planner and in my head, but but the I absolutely positively need a monthly calendar to schedule and plan my YouTube videos. So I'm gonna show you what I did last month. Oh wait, before I do that, I have some patron shout outs to do. Hang on. So I just want to give a shout out to a couple of people. Wait, let me see. Also, if you are on my Patreon, $5 and up, and I forgot to give you a shout out, let me know, because I try really hard to keep track of it, but sometimes, you know, human error. Anyway, so I just wanna give out a shout out to Gianna Glasser and Marisol Diaz. These are my two new Bumble BFFs, which is the highest tier, and I'm really excited because this month, I'm gonna be able to make spreads for them which is gonna be really fun. You'll see them on my YouTube channel. Anyway, I also wanna give a shout out to Katrina Christopher, Debbie Leonard, Mary Stewart, and Cindy Fisher. Thanks so much guys for joining my Patreon. I always get so like pumped up and excited when I get a new patron and, um, and I love getting to know people. So if you're interested in checking out my Patreon, the link is always in the, the description box. There's lots and lots of perks you're gonna get. Um, that you're not gonna find on my YouTube channel. And actually I just added a tier today that is um, exclusive videos that you're not gonna see on YouTube. Like private stuff, secret, you know, like that is just real planning stuff, like real nitty gritty, not like suitable for YouTube, just like real life. So that's gonna be really fun. Anyway, let's get started on this video. I'm going to show you what I did in July. This is what I've been doing and it's really working for me. Okay. So here's July. I posted this on my Instagram because it's like, so just real life. And I wanted to people to know that I'm not perfect. This is my handwriting. Like, look at what's going on down here. There's just so much scribbled and, but this is so functional for me. So what I've been doing is filling out the schedule for the month for my videos. And then I've been color coding it. So if I film, when I film it, it's purple. When I post it, like upload it to YouTube, it is orange. And then the yellow means I put in all the descriptions in YouTube and all the tags and all the links and all that. And then um, I, it's so it's all like scheduled and ready to go. So that's been really working for me. I did fall aside here because on the color coding because I was away. Um, I was down in Virginia for a week and then I was I was at my boyfriend's house for a while. So I really didn't um, do this. But when I'm at home and actually working next to my calendar, I'm always using this and it's so helpful. These numbers here just mean they're corresponding to the, um, the doodle of the day. So when I film the doodles, I then like save them as numbers and then I can know which exact doodle to put in there. And that way I won't duplicate, hopefully. I did duplicate one, I think. Um, but it, the doodles get a little bit confusing to make sure that I don't duplicate because I'm filming these sort of out of order. So I have to be sure that the right doodle goes on the right day. So it's a little confusing. This has been 
freaking amazing for me. So I'm going to continue this for August. I was using it also. Let me see. When did I start color coding? Okay, I started color coding in June, you can see. And that's when it started really working for me and clicking. Um, some of the other ones I did not. I guess I didn't really. Oh, I did. Some of them I was using for... Uh, I was I was keeping track of in my social media planner. I think I started doing that in March. But then I went back to the wall calendar because I just felt like I liked being able to see it next to me. So I use like a combination of this and my social media. And I will be showing you my social media planner at some point and all the things that I do with it. But right now I'm in the process of transitioning it to a classic. And so I want to like wait and show you that transition and also show you what I do in the new planner. So that's why I haven't really showed it lately. Okay, so I don't usually decorate these because they're already cute and everything, but I thought it'd be fun to decorate this one a little bit because there's nothing on the sides. And this is the the top and I think it's really cute and summery. So I thought I'd decorate it a little bit and then work on scheduling my videos because I can't, possibly put out six videos to seven videos a week without putting it on a schedule like I just can't possibly do that I need to plan ahead in what I do so that's why I sit down about a week like right before the new month starts and really plan it out and it helps me out tremendously all right so before we plan out the videos I'm going to decorate it like I said and this is like the first mega pack that came out and I don't know about you guys but if you have this one is yours falling apart like mine this is seriously like falling apart all over the place I feel like the newer ones that they made are more secure but this one was probably just because it was like their first try at it that I think they kind of dropped the ball on some of the adhesive I don't know or maybe I just flipped through it a lot who knows anyway um I saw these and of course they're gonna match like the top picture. So I thought it would be really fun to use some of these. And I'm just gonna like put them on the side. Decorating like wall calendars doesn't have to be like super intricate. It's just like fun and like most of the time I just put stuff on the side and then I, I'll put boxes in the middle. Whoops, I just ripped that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put like a bunch of these up and down the sides and maybe a couple up here and then we'll see how it goes. All right, I think that's super cute. All I really did was just cut the sides and kind of fit them in. And I think it makes it fun and cute. So now I'm gonna go into the seasonal mega sticker pack and I'm gonna use these. I know it's a lot of color, but I think that's really fun to do sometimes. And I'm just gonna place one on each day that I plan on posting a video. All right, I think that's super fun and colorful. And I know that I color code, so you might think, wow, when she color codes, there's gonna be a lot of colors. Will she even be able to see that? Yes, I will, because I'm just gonna do stripes on the bottom and I'll be able to to tell. Um, I just wanted something fun this month because like I said, like usually I don't decorate this. So I thought it would be fun to do so. So 
I am gonna go ahead now and write in all the vid videos for the month. All right, so now my videos for the month are scheduled on here. And if I change my mind and wanna do something else, I can take one of these off and put another one on. So that way it won't look as messy as it did last month. Cause I know like towards the bottom of last month, it got like really crazy and I kept rescheduling everything. And it's like, whoa. Um, and I think it's gonna work out good. I did transfer a couple of videos from July and I put them here because I didn't get a chance to film them in July because I had to go away and um, help my daughter. So there was just a couple things that didn't get done. Uh, craft room video is coming. I know I've been promising that for a while. Allie and I have been working on it a little bit at a time. So this will give us a couple weeks before I post it. So I'm hoping to post it August 21st. Don't 21st, <laughs> 21st. Don't hold me to that. I'm really hoping though. And um, I really do try to give you guys some after the pens. This might switch around. This is not written in stone, but this gives me a really good guideline um, for August. So I hope you guys got something out of this video. I don't know if it helped you if you're a social media planner or not, but um, it was fun to show you guys. So take care and stay tuned for Doodle of the Day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.